Thanks again, Gabe, and congratulations on your big win tonight. That's a great time for the horse to step up. And I'm joined by Steve Stewart, uh, who with his wife Cindy owns Hunterton Farm. Steve told me he actually sold your colt at the Lexington sale a couple years ago as a yearling. Yeah, that's right. So it's uh, good that uh, you were able to stay in after the sale, Gabe. And Steve, and, uh, Hunterton Farm, formerly known as Stoner Creek Farm, is one of the most historic and most beautiful farms in all of Kentucky. You must just love being out there. Yeah, we're very, very fortunate to be there. Uh, we've been there for, this is our 21st year being there. Um, Cindy and I started Hunterton Farm in, here in Lexington, uh, oh, I guess about 35 years ago, and uh, kind of gone from there. It's a great place. And on that farm, you have some of the, some of the best trotting and pacing mares in the sport that you breed and send the yearlings to sail every year. And you're well represented tonight in the Sire Stake Finals. In fact, in the Philly Pace, you told me you sold six of those, and one of them is Bandstand, who's going to look to sweep the series. Yeah, Tony Alanya um, has been a good uh, patron of ours, and uh, he's bought many horses that have done well. And uh, Bandstand's just another one that uh, he's picked out. I think she sold for $40,000 um, here in Lexington last fall. A big part of why uh, a lot of the nationally known trainers are here this year for the two-year-old races is the new mayor residency program. And since your beautiful farm is in Kentucky, that's really been uh, a real bonanza for you, selling the horses. Uh, many of them are eligible to two programs, and if they spend, what is it, 150 days in Kentucky, the mayors, then they can be in the Kentucky Sire Stake program as well. Tell us a little about how that affects your marketing and, and what you're doing out there at Stoner Creek. Yeah, it, uh, several years ago they decided that they weren't getting enough stallions in the state and uh, so they changed it to a mayor residency program which was a brilliant idea and it's really worked out extremely well. Uh, I think it's going to exceed everybody's expectation and tonight is the first, the, the start of it with these finals and uh, what, what's wonderful about it is that and exciting is the fact as you see at least in the first race, is there's basically every uh, stallion represented. And uh, yes, the mayors have to, it's, a, it's during the conception year of the mayors have to be here for six months in the state. And it's affected basically all the boarding farms, including ours, of people sending their mayors or leaving them here. And then they can go back to wherever they were or they can just end up staying here. So it's a very good for the state to uh, reap the benefits of Obviously, if we, if we at the farms benefit, uh, the state does too. It does. There are a lot of things going on that play into that. And when the sale comes around here in Lexington, which begins on October 5th this year, you're going to be bringing a lot of horses over to sell. Are there a couple that you're particularly proud of that you look forward to selling? Last year, you sold one for 800000 <laughs> Yeah, we don't have an $800,000 one this year, I don't think. The last year was kind of special. With, uh, we sold one for five fifty, and she's doing very well, a pacing filly. And even the 800000 that my brother has, uh, he's done very well, but they went ahead and stopped with him. He's a big, growthy colt, and hopefully he'll come back and be a good three-year-old. But, um, yeah, we sell about, we'll be selling uh, in the neighborhood of 80 yearlings again this year. And um, we don't have any, as I said, $800,000 yearlings, but, but we have a lot of nice horses. I think we got about five or six Muscle Hills. This year will be unique in the fact that there's four new stallions, two pacing, two trotting that uh, will be very well represented. We haven't had any uh, really new top commercial stallions in a while uh, at this level, I guess you might say. And uh, this year should be unique. I think that the sales will be very good. I think one reason why the sales will be very good is that there's really no dominant trainers. I think that it seems like every trainer has good horses this year and uh, they're well represented. And I think that will just spill over to uh, to make it a very good sale again this year. It's better when more people have money to spend. You need underbidders too. Yeah, that's right. Captain Treacherous, Trixton, Father Patrick, Sweet Lou. It is, it's an exciting bunch of new horses coming to stud this year. Steve's got a bunch of them. I think maybe six or eight captains and six or eight Trixtons. And it's gonna be an exciting fall this year at the Lexington Select Sale. We're gonna get ready to move ahead with the program. Steve, thanks for taking time to join us tonight. My pleasure. Back to you, Gabe.